All right, what up, what up? It looks like we found ourselves a good lobby with some good connections. We'll see whether or not they lie to us because we know these motherfuckers lie to us occasionally. I have not, I don't think I've played either one of these people before. I don't recognize their gamer tags. Their PSN IDs. Man, it was an Xbox, no more gamer tags. But uh, yeah, while we're sitting here waiting, couple things. First thing, uh, I don't know if I s talked about that I had bought a new laptop. I'm pretty sure I remember saying that I was looking for a new laptop, but I did end up buying one. Uh, it came in and dead pixels everywhere. Not really. There are only a couple, but still dead pixels everywhere. It only takes one and it ruins the entire computer. Just one damn dead pixel. So, uh, because of that, I sent it back. That dude, I don't think that dude likes me. That dude has dodged me. Like, whenever we played, like, a set of three or four games, and that dude has never stuck around ever since. <laughs> Maybe he just doesn't like ass real. I wouldn't blame him. Anyway, uh, computers. Shit. Where was I? I've already forgotten everything. I am... This is gonna be terrible, because I am incredibly fatigued. I don't know what it is, but I just, I feel like I should lie down and pass out for like 20 hours right now. So anyway, laptops. I got it. Dead pixels everywhere. So obviously I submit a little, you know, complaint thing like, hey, uh, this ain't right. Can you fix please? And because I bought it during the whole, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, during all those sales, they had a shit ton of customer service stuff. Like they even said, when I submitted the form, like, this is probably gonna take a while. We are flooded in customer service requests because of the holiday season and whatnot. So they finally got back to me, uh, Saturday, so that was two days ago, and said, you know, all right, I, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna let you return it to us. We're gonna send you a replacement. We have to verify the problem first. Please. And so I sent it back, and so hopefully, very, very soon, oh god, it's a gin, we're gonna get our asses kicked. Very, very soon, uh, I will, within hopefully, like, maybe the next two weeks, I'll have a computer that I can finally start using the live game portable on, I can start direct capturing, I can start recording videos longer than 30 minutes, yay! But, uh, yeah, until then, we're still stuck with the camcorder. Man, but let's, I hope I don't ruin my winning streak. I'm probably gonna curse myself just by saying this, but I've played a little bit over the past few days, I've tried to sit down and play some matches here and there. And I have been doing really, really well. You know, like, I haven't just been, you know, playing bad people. I've been playing good people, I've been playing bad people, I've been playing okay people. And I've had, like, a 90% win rate over the past few days. So hopefully I can keep this shit up and not get my ass killed here. Oh god, that was not actually what I wanted. Bad, 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 bad. Fuck! Oh, I was supposed to come out first. Or earlier, I should say. wasn't too high I'm always scared every single time I do that I am always so fucking scared that they're too high and I'm gonna go right underneath them and get blown up <laughs> but yay it worked fuck that was bad that was bad This person has not DP'd once, and it's tripping me out. Oh god. Fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. <laughs> I get so scared! I get so scared when I see Overdrive, I'm like, fuck that! I don't even know what half the cast Overdrive does. I mean, obviously I know what Jens does. His 
pretty much every single sword attack he has, as far as I'm aware, every sword attack he has freezes you, like refreezes you. There's no, it's not like uh, regular combos where if he freezes you once, he can't freeze you again. He can just refreeze you as many damn times as he wants. But still, whenever I see Overdrive, and every time I see Overdrive, it's because I fucked up a combo. It's not because the person, um, it's very rarely the person purposefully did a an overdrive it's because i fucked up a combo like i dropped a combo well i wasn't i didn't drop a combo right there i can't actually combo off of 6c uh without counter hit but either way he thought he was gonna get comboed and he tried to burst and he overdrove instead but i get so scared i get so scared i was like nope nope not even gonna deal with it just run it away peace out i'm done reset the offense i'm gonna just chill for a little bit and stop hitting buttons That was bad. I didn't really do anything particularly impressive there. So let's hope I can fix myself here. I'm gonna call 5D. If he doesn't 5D, I'm fucked. So he's gonna tech? Yeah, he is. Yo, this lag. My bad. I should have. I should have jumped. I should have jumped. Or I should have at least seen that shit coming. What? Oh my god! This lag. Yeah, this connection sucks. The other dude was fine, but this one is all over the damn place. It is getting like really bad, really fast. What? That's right. That's hella safe. That is incredibly safe. You can't do. You can't fuck with that. What? My 5 six sucks. Peace. Damn. Nothing. Alright, I ain't even mad about it. I like getting damn near perfected right now. What? What are you gonna do? I mean, like, if none of your shit comes out, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna get blown the fuck up. Welcome to life! Give me a, nothing. Still, like, I was just mashing on backdash that entire stupid of me to hit a button. What the hell? I'm not changing my block. I don't know what's going on. I legitimately don't know what's happening right now. I mean, I'm obviously getting my ass kicked, but <laughs> there's no good reason for it. It's just all of a sudden, everything, nothing's happening. I'm just trying to hit buttons. I'm trying to do stuff. Yo, where was... Oh my god, damn it, man. anywhere like i'm curious i'm super curious but yeah that connection sucks so i'm out of this lobby that sucks but i'm really curious if that right there was the lag because like i mean air grabs do have good hitboxes but i have never before seen myself like teleport into their hands and that's what happened right there so i'm curious if the lag like the game kind of was on my side for a little bit right there and so it was showing me further away than i actually was and then i got blown up Kind of like how shit was. We outie. That sucked. Fuck! Um, kind of like how it was back in, what's it called? Um, Anarchy Reigns. Like, for those of you that may have played that game. You know what? I bet this dude picks a game with stage lag, too. Because I, I, I know a lot of the stages on this game have confirmed lag on them. And I know, like, training stages, I think Coliseum are both two that are like guaranteed to be lagless but yeah during anarchy reigns that was a huge problem with that games online was that the, you know you would basically be shown like halfway across like the room from somebody else and then all of a sudden you're just yanked all the way back you're teleported all the way back and grabbed but yeah i mean that sucks it always sucks to lose in a bad connection but 
It's something we gotta live with. That is the just a casualty of online. But it's a shame that that's what happens. Can't be allowing that to happen though. I need to take only four bar. I checked this lobby earlier and it was all one bar connections in here, so I doubt I really, yeah. I mean, like, one would hope that these people are actually quality because they are red, but that's not. I mean, the color thing is not a good indicator. That is not an end all. Uh, that is not an end all, be all indication of somebody's skill. Actually, I mean, personally, the majority of red people that I have played against. Ooh, Mookie Mook. That is Crocell. But he is busy, and this person is not here. So I'm out of luck. I don't want to jump in on somebody else's shit. Shout out to Crocell. The only Makoto player left in the world. Well, left in America. You have people like Goro, who are fucking amazing. And it doesn't even matter what character they use, they're still gonna be fucking amazing. They're gonna make the character look top tier. But yeah, I mean, I don't know of anybody else in the United States that is stuck with Makoto, but he is, and he's doing good with her. He kicked my ass a few times. Showed me what was up. Am I out of luck? I think I'm out of luck here. I'm gonna go try that one bar then. Oh, never mind, he gone. Shit. I really am. Just, I'm out of luck today. Today is not a good day. Where are you? Where are you? Arrow Mach. Let's look for you. Because I don't think, I believe red means they're in the middle of a map. Ah, fuck! All the people with good connections aren't paying any damn attention. It's killing me. I guess I'll just go back to the... I, I mean, if the laggy room's the only thing I got, the laggy room's the only thing I got, so fuck it. We going back in. It sucks. I mean, I don't want to play that person again, but I do. Why am I a two-bar connection all of a sudden? Fuck you! I was a three-bar connection two seconds ago. I'm gonna go back to Dragon Quest V. Shout out to Dragon Quest V. Very fun game. My favorite Dragon Quest game, personally. I mean, there'll always be a soft spot in my heart for Dragon Warrior 3. I don't know why they called it Dragon Warrior instead of Dragon Quest back then. Probably because Warrior was more American. It was tougher. Mookie Mook! What up? He came and joined me. But he's gonna watch me lose in a shitty connection. Um. But yeah. Dragon Warrior 3, I played that. That was, I think, besides Pokemon, which technically I wouldn't really count. Po like, Pokemon is its own genre. You can't even call that, like, an RPG. Pokemon is Pokemon. Dragon Warrior 3 was, like, my first... Uh, it was my first RPG that I ever played. And the only reason I bought it, I didn't buy it. Like, I mean, as a kid, you have really weird reasons in general for buying games when you first start out. The only reason I bought Dragon Warrior 3 was because that shit was, uh, the artist for that shit did, what's it called? Um, Dragon Ball Z. And then, and that was all, that was literally the only reason I bought it. You laggy motherfucker. Sorry about the lag. You better be sorry about the motherfucking lag, bitch. But no, um, that was the only reason I bought it, and I ended up loving it. I played through that game probably like four times. Hey, he really is. Well, I can't shit talk you now. Because you actually apologize for the lag. So good on you, my brother. You know what's up, fuck. <laughs> if I lost a Tarumi in lag, you know I'm gonna lose to Hazuma in lag. Hazuma is, ugh. That is definitely among the worst of Azrael's matchups, in my opinion. I don't know if it actually is, like if that's a widely agreed upon thing. But in my personal opinion of what his matchups are, I definitely believe Hazuma is one of his worst matchups. Because there are characters that I'm like, I just know are, I'm bad against, like Ragna. I would never say Asriel has a bad matchup against Ragna, despite the fact that I probably have like a .001% win rate against the character. The only reason for that is because I just have some kind of mental block about Ragna. But Hazuma is, ooh, I hate this matchup. <laughs> That's actually a big problem I need to fix. Of 
focused. I'm focused. I have the skills. I have the ability. Ooh, I'm powered up. Let's go. I'm gonna do this for no reason, and it worked. And then I fucked it up. Ah, he called me out. I need to stop jumping. I mean, that's one thing I just need to do in general. Asriel, Asriel's aerial game is not good enough. I don't think that can reach. Oh, Jesus, it didn't even reach. <laughs> Damn it, Blackheart Stinger, you're failing me! You're supposed to be my whiff punisher! He just wanted to get up to Hazuma and say hi. He didn't want to hit him. He was like, yo, what's up, Hazuma? We're pals? Maybe? Probably? I think they're both in the same organization, right? They're both in whatever... Is it in... Uh, uh, NOL? That's it, right? NOL? Whatever the hell that stands for. Super sad about that, though. Just like got in his face, did a little bit of mean mug in there. It was like, sup? I got this. I don't need this with punish. Also, shout out to Underboob. <laughs> Gotta mention that whenever you see Makoto. Shout outs to Underboob. Everybody loves them, so Underboob. Who doesn't love Underboob? Everybody loves underboob. It's underboob. I love the word boob. People think the word boob is immature, and if you think that, fuck you. I don't give a shit about you. You don't know how to have fun in your life. But seriously, whenever I say that, there's always some one asshole. It's like, yo, that's hella immature to say boob. And I'm like, hey, you're a boob. And that's it. That's it. That's it. Now I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Yo, look at this dude playing ranked and shit. Fuck you. Fuck! Oh, God! Oh god. How dare you overhead me? That's not it's not fair to do mix up and shit. Oh my god, he's doing combos. Oh shit, she chased me down. How dare you! Huh? Huh? Oh, fuck. Oh my god. That scared me. Oh shit, we did not mean to do that, obviously. Ow. Apparently I should not hit buttons there. Crocelle, you motherfucker, I love you, dude. But seriously, stop blowing me up. God! I need to learn this man. I need to, I need to, I need to, I need to just play him non-stop. 900% of the time. Let's play him non-stop. Oh god, I'm gonna get hit by that. He confirms off it too. Shit. What? Yeah, I mean, I just need to learn this matchup. A lot of this is just matchup and experience. How dare he. I don't know how that was a counter hit either. I can't backdash. Like, I was trying... Every, pretty much every single hit he got right there was me trying to backdash and then not getting that shit out. Ah, Makoto, best character in the game. Shit. I mean, she's definitely one of those characters who is... A lot, I mean, like I said, he's a godlike player. Better than me, I would argue, because I'm free. But, uh, that is definitely a matchup where, like, you can just you can just get blown up by the character and not really know what's going on. You have to know the matchup, otherwise she has a whole lot of stuff. 
that can make you a super sad individual, and he just made me a super sad individual. So anyway, back to Dragon Quest. Let's talk again about Dragon Warrior. Uh, since I completely lost my train of thought there. I'll always have a soft spot for that because it was basically my first introduction to RPGs. You know, I didn't know what RPGs were. I didn't know what Japanese RPGs were at the time. But once I did learn, I was like, yo, that's what Dragon Warrior 3 is. I love that fucking game. Oh my god, they should not have skipped the intro. So I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for that game because it was the first game that really, like, introduced me to grinding. Which, I mean, you would think, obviously, that that would be... Hold up, one second. Yellow. No, no, thank you. Nope. Eh. Nope. No, I don't want any of it. Thank you. Bye. Alright, back to our regularly scheduled match. Uh, that was basically my first introduction to grinding, which you would think it would have been Pokemon, but uh-uh, I was a kid. I abused the living shit out of the missing note glitch. So like, oh, he baited that out and it didn't punish it. I abused the living shit out of the missing note glitch so I could get me all kinds of rare candies and not have to do any grinding. Auto level 100, everybody! But that was the first game. Like, I got, I remember, I still remember getting my ass handed to me by the final boss and having to go out and grind liquid metal slimes for hours. Oh man, that game also, now that I remember it, that game also had the whole, like, job system, different classes and whatnot. God, that game was awesome. And what makes me mad is that they tried to bring that back with Dragon Quest IX. I mean, yeah, it was nine, right? Yeah, Dragon Quest IX is the most recent one. They tried to bring that back, and it just, I did not like Dragon Quest IX at all. I hated that game. I don't know what it was about it. I don't know exactly why. Because it's been too long since I played it, so I can't remember. I just remember that I do, I did hate it, and I didn't even bother finishing it. It was the first Dragon Quest I haven't ever finished. Because I got a, I mean, obviously, Dragon Warrior 3. Awesome game. Uh, I had, and then they did the remakes. Ooh, of Dragon Quest 4, 5, and 6. Obviously, I'm playing 5 right now. They did the remakes of five, or 4, 5, and 6 on the DS. Played all of those. Really liked 4. Obviously, like I said, 5 is my favorite. 6 was okay. It wasn't... It's not as good as the other two, but it was still... I mean, it was alright. I've not played 7. I don't even know what 7 is. I'm, just, I'm assuming 7 is probably a PS1 game. I own Dragon Quest 8, but that game is another one. Like, it's not... I, it, I haven't... It's not that... I haven't finished that one because I don't like it. I just have not finished that one because it's so fucking long. That game is absurdly long. And you there are the ran there are so many ran yo run it back. Run that shit back? Kill him? I wonder if that match was laggy. Cuz he hit all his damn combos against me. Didn't drop didn't drop I think he dropped a couple but I didn't see an entire full combo there at all. We yeah, had Dragon Quest VIII, absurdly long game, so that's the only reason I haven't finished that one. And then obviously, like we said, Dragon Quest IX I just didn't like. But Dragon Quest V has the stupid, oh my god, any game, any goddamn game that has, um, oops, shit. I stopped paying attention and this, these dudes sent two of my homies back to the wagon. Any game that has any kind of, like, monster recruitment system, I'm, like, in love with it immediately. No matter how bad the game actually is, for some reason, that shit just hooks me. It's probably because of Pokemon. Because Pokemon was, like, the first game that I really got involved with. Like, I got involved with. Like, I'm talking about a relationship. Yo, I love you, Pokemon. Come see me whenever. You know you up in my room all day and night and long. We getting together, I'm grinding it out. Yeah. Anyway, that was awkward. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, you have Nino Kuni, which was the best JR probably one. I mean, it's one of the best JRPGs of this generation on consoles. I mean, there's a ton of them on handhelds that are amazing. But 
The console selections of JRPGs have been very, very bad. And Nino Kuni kind of got blown up to be like a lot more popular than it really should have been because of that, because it was a good game in a time where there really weren't any good JRPGs available. So it kind of just became like the go-to, yo, this JRPG is awesome. But that one had a monster recruitment system. Loved it because of it. Final Fantasy XIII 2, despite the fact that I hate the living shit. I cannot even slightly begin to describe my utter hatred for that game's story. That was the dumbest story I have ever participated in in the history of my life. But even then, I still liked the battle system and I enjoyed trying to, you know, get and recruit monsters. And Dragon Quest V has that entire system as well. Dragon Quest V, you can... Uh, certain monsters, not all of them, but you can collect some of them. Basically, the way I think it works, I would have to actually, like, go through a list of all of them and to confirm whether or not this is true. But as far as I'm aware, as far as I can tell, basically, one of the things that's a part of Dragon Quest is that they have, like, a selection. Maybe, like, 30, 35 different monsters, and then there's just a bunch of palette swaps along the way. And so, as far as I'm aware, basically, one version, one of every type of creature is available. So one palette is available that you can get, and then the rest of them you can't recruit. I love it. I love it. I will always, even if I know I will never use them, like, I'm not interested in actually using them, I still want them. I still have to collect them. Shit has me mine, I'm never gonna use you. You're just gonna sit in my little fucking master fucking monster trainer dudes hood whatever the hell whatever the hell he has and I will never see you again but I still gotta have you and so that's what I'm doing right now I'm, I'm trying to hunt down an orc king motherfucker will not join me but also, I mean, even despite, like, I mean, like I said, I just kind of blew up. In case you are not aware of what the Dragon Quest series, and you have a DS, and you, you know, maybe looking for games to play, seriously, look up Dragon Quest V. Like, it has one of the best RPG stories that I have ever participated in. It's one of those, like, there are a lot of games out there that are like, you're born! You get to play through this character's entire life! And blah blah blah, like that shit. This game kind of actually does allow that. There is skipping around, it's kind of fable-ish, in that, like, you have a period of time where you're a child. A brief period of time where it kind of introduces you to everything, but it's a lot longer than fables. And then it kind of grows you up. So you're not actually playing through, like, the entirety of this person's life. But still, like, you go, you can get married, uh, you end up having kids that are vital to the storyline, your wife is vital to the storyline, you, you know, there's a selection of different wives to have. It's just a really, really good, solid story the entire way through. So I highly suggest if you have a DS, pick up that game, play the shit out of it, and love it as much as I do. And now we're gonna switch videos, because obviously, this one will not last the entire match.